Hi folks, this is Vince and Ida Lee with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Not Alone. It's important to stress that this is our first time playing, so this is going to be more of a learning how to play video. Um, we did read the rules, we think we have a handle on everything, but just in case we may make some mistakes. Uh, this is for 2 to 7 players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is 30 to 45 minutes. Based on what I read, this is a one versus all kind of game. One player plays as the creature on this planet, and they're trying to assimilate all the other players. Uh, the, the players, the other players of the hunted, are going to try and get this uh, survival track up to this point in order to win, whereas the creature player is going to try and get their marker over to this spot to win as well. If the creature gets there first, then the creature assimilates all the other players and they win. If this marker gets here first before the creature does, then the hunted survivors uh, manage to collectively win the game. So um, every round there's four phases. There's the exploration phase, hunting, reckoning, and end of turn. During the exploration phase, just to quickly sum it up, uh, each of the hunted will choose a card from their hand. They get cards one through five in their hand at the start of the game. So they can go to one of these five locations. They're going to pick a card that's in their hand, put it face down, and one of they have numbered one through five on there, so it matches these five locations here. They're going to pick a location, put the card face down, and that ends phase one. Phase two, as the creature, the creature can play a, uh, a card, a hunt card from their hand, uh, activating maybe one of these other tokens. I'll explain what they do later. But um, as the creature, the creature can choose a location where they think they're going to go and place it on a card. After that, um, they're going to, the other players are going to reveal what card they chose um, and different things will happen depending on whether or not they're at that location. Um, if, if the player happens, let's say Ida Lee here chose card one, number one, and I had chosen card number three here. Um, if that were the case, then she could use the place's power or take back one discarded place card. As she plays these place cards in her hand, they go to a discard pile, sort of cluing in to the creature what places she has left to travel before um, she has to start taking cards from the discard pile again. To take cards from the discard pile during phase one, she can give up these willpower tokens or just give up, uh, meaning she gets all her cards back, all her willpower tokens back, um, but my assimilation track goes up by one, or the creature's assimilation track goes up by one. I'm playing as the creature, that's why I keep referring to the creature as me. Um, if the, the player was on a space with this token, or this token, or this token, then different things will happen, usually at the detriment of the survivor. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I didn't cover all of the rules, that was more of a broad spectrum uh, rolls primer. But the gist of it is, she's going to try and escape using these card powers here, and me as the creature, I'm going to try and guess where she's going to go next. And I'm going to place these down, think, you know, trying to guess where she might go. Um, she can get cards 6 through 10 later on um, by landing on this number 5 card and using its power. Number 5 is the rover. Take from the reserve one place card you do not own and add it to your hand. So she can get to these locations later in the game by landing on this, grabbing one of these, and then putting it into her hand, and then she can play it on a future turn to go to that location. So, yeah, that's it. We'll explain the card abilities as we go and, and everything. So, phase one is the exploration phase. Um, you can resist, meaning that you can give up one or two of these tokens here to take back two or four cards respectively from the discard pile. You don't have to do that, you have no cards in your discard pile. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so now you can play one place card. So I'll read off to you what the five, oh you have them in your hand, the yeah. abilities. But for the sake of the camera, who can't, you know, you can't see what these are probably. The layer is take back to your hand the place cards from the discard pile or copy the power of the place with the creature token. Lose one extra will if caught by the creature token. So it's a powerful ability, but if you're caught here, then uh, you'll lose an extra will token, which is bad for you. Because if you run out, I move up the track. Yeah. The jungle is number two. Take back to your hand this place card and one place card from your discard pile. So you get to take back the jungle card and one card from your discard pile. The river is next turn play two place cards. Before revealing, choose one and return the second to your hand. 
That's not too bad. So you have some options there. Okay. Four is the beach. Place the marker counter on the beach, which is this yellow one here. And then, or you can remove it. So on a future turn, you can come back and remove it. And then you can move the rescue counter forward one space, which is this here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then number five is the rover. You can take a card from here. And then we'll get to six through ten as you take them. So now you have to pick a card from your five card hand. And, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. This is so it's a, it's difficult. A, it's a, you know... It's a psych, it's a, this is one of those psychological games. Yeah, it is. Do I know that you know that I know that you're going to move there? This is terrible. I'm horrible at poker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just don't look at the card you're going to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I could bluff. You could bluff. There you go. You could bluff. Oh, man. Now I'm scared to look at the card. That's all right. It's all good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so players can actually hopefully read the cards. Okay. There we go. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so you, you put a card face down. Now phase two is place the hunt tokens. So I can play, I get three at the beginning of the game. These are hunt cards. And these are, um, I believe these are all, okay, all hunted. Okay, so I can play one of these. I can only play one. And this tells you what phase they're activated in. Here's phase three, for example, phase four. Um, so I can play this one. And there's no token on it. Like these other cards, uh, none of my cards have symbols on it. But if they did, I would make use of these other tokens here and also put them out where I think she might have gone. Um, and also there's a little A on this track. That means I can play this token whenever she gets to that point. And the A token um, makes basically that place's power ineffective. All right, so I'm going to play this card and I'm going to choose, say, um, I know you're probably not going to go to the jungle, so to give you an easy time, I'm just going to go to the jungle, because I know you're not going to go to the jungle, because you have nothing in your discard pile to take back. That's so sweet. I know, isn't that so sweet? <laughs> so, all right, so that was phase two. Phase three is, uh, well, it says here, phase two, all hunted discard one place card simultaneously. So you have, to take a, you have to take a place card from your hand and discard it. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, probably along with that other one. Which, Which one? The one that you played for this turn. Really? Yeah, the ones, every time you play a card for a round, it goes into a discard pile. Oh. So the card that you played and the card that you picked now will go into the discard pile. And you'll have three cards left in your hand for future rounds. I'm so, okay, okay. And then t unless you give up a will token to get them back. So this card is telling me that I have to discard two? Just one. Oh, just one. Yeah. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm confusing, but... It's okay. No, I'm... I'm just thank God. No, you're good. One. Now, for those of you that... These are survival cards. She'll be getting those at some point. There's a card, like seven, I think it is. Draw two survival cards, choose one, and discard the other. These will help her out later down the line. This is my hunt deck, and these are just extra cards that are not going to be in the game. These are like extra starter cards for other players. Um, a certain number in the reserve will come out depending on how many people are playing the game. We, we don't need this anymore. So I'm going to put these off to the side. And this is what the inside of the box looks like, for those of you curious. And this is the rule book, in case you're curious. It's, it's not too big. It's about, uh, they're not numbered, but I want to say about six six pages or so. Okay, so you discarded one. Yeah, what do I do with this? I, they, the, your discard pile goes face up. It does it? Yeah. So, so that I can, means that you look, that you, then I, then you I can, can see, see it? Yes. What? Well, I think so. <laughs> let, me, let me just make sure. Again, we're, this is new to us, but um, let's see. What? Uh, why? <laughs> um, this card is the place card played face up. Yeah. Fine. So any any of those go face up. Fine. <laughs> oh, I see. That's nice. That's the guide card. Yes. Okay. So you discarded the number two. Okay. So you now reveal reveal the place cards. Apply the effect. So you reveal this one that you played. It's the number five. So that means that you're going to be here. Yeah. So now I am not here. So that's good. That means you can do one of two things. You can either take, you can take the action that's on that card, the power of that card, mm -hmm. or you can take back one discarded place card. 
which you know is in your discard pile. So if you want to, you can add one of these to your hand, or you can take back. I want to take one of those. You're good. Go for it. So which one are you oh going to take? Gosh, I don't six. Know. Six is take back to your hand this place card and two place cards from your discard pile. So you can take. It's like the jungle, but you can take back two instead of one. Okay. The shelter, draw two survival cards. Choose one and discard the second one. Wreck is move the rescue counter forward one space. The source, the hunted of your choice, you or another player, regains one will or you draw one survival card. And then 10 is the artifact. Next turn, play two place cards. Resolve both places. You may not copy the artifact. Copying meaning from the layer, okay. I think. Oh, that's hard. I, I really like 10, but I like, I like 7, too. You like 7, the survival cards? Yeah. These here? Yeah. Well, it's up to you. Whatever you want. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go with the 7. 7? Okay, so now you add that to your hand. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. And... And this goes in my discard? Yeah, it goes in your discard pile, along with the 2. Yep. And four is discard the played place card, take back the hunt tokens, draw hunt cards up to three. So this goes away and I get another one. And discard, okay, move the rescue token so it goes up one space. Oh. So you, it gets your. So your, no matter what, as long as you don't catch me on a place, you'll move up one? You'll still, you'll still move forward regardless. Wow. Okay. But the more I land on you, the more you lose yeah. and the more that I move up. It's a race. Who's going to get to this this base first? Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that was round one. Mm -hmm. So round two, we're back to the phase one. So you can give up will tokens to get cards back. If you don't do that, um, you can just pick a place. Now, I know that two and five is no longer mm -hmm. in your hand. So that means you're going to go here, 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 or here. So I have a one in four chance of guessing where you might go. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And you have two tokens, right? So that's kind of like... Well, I only have this unless I, I have to play a card. For example, here's a card with a little symbol on it. That means that when I play this card, I would play this token somewhere. And then if she were to land on that spot we'd resolve its effects, and then she would get to take an action. There's no limit to how many hunt cards you can play, right? I can play one per turn. Oh, one? Mm -hmm. I can only play one per so turn. So you can't play a, two cards that have two different symbols? No. However, at, at, there may be a point later. There's an A here. Mm -hmm. So if you get to this point, mm -hmm. I could play this anywhere I want always. Mm -hmm. But this, because you're on an A, I can play this anywhere I feel like it. And I may play a card that has this on it and then put that out. So there may be times where I might have three tokens out oh, man. later down the line yeah. as you get closer to winning. Ah, that's rough. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I said. All right, I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, All your... difficult. It is difficult. The art in this, this is awesome. I love the art. The art is beautiful. It's so, yeah, it is. It's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so difficult. Okay, I think I got it. This reminds me of the dragon from Shadowgate, for those of you that used to play the NES. There was a dragon in the cave, and it would shoot fire out. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so you put one face down, mm -hmm. okay? Now mine is place the hunt token. So I'm going to play this card. It has a target symbol on it. So that means, now I know that she doesn't, she's going to play here, 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 here. I'm going to play this one. This says target two adjacent places. <gasps> Both are ineffective. And then I'm going to play this one, say, up here. Because I don't know where you're going to go. So, this goes away. So, round... It's not even fair! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I should have resisted. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. So, now we reveal. 
which is number four. Now, but something's going to happen, but you're okay. It, that basically, my card prevents that from this from this from working. Mm -hmm. However, you still it says hunt card effect. Then use the player's place power or take back one discarded place token. You can still take back um, a place card. You can still take back a place card from the discard pile. Why? Because that wasn't part of the cards. The, this, this token does not prevent you from using a power. Or, you know how whenever you, let's say you were to land here. Okay. And you could do the card's action or take from the discard pile. Oh, or take. This it. does not prevent that from happening. Oh, okay. However, this card specifically prevents you it, following the ability. It says both card. places, both are ineffective. Okay, I see. So you can't do the power of these cards, but you can do the discard thing. Oh, okay. So you can take one card from the discard pile. Does that include this one? No, no not right. the one you played. Okay. Do I have to let you know which one I took back? Well, yeah, since the discard, okay. they're, they're, they're face There's up. There's only two. Yeah. So it's, it's one or the other. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, I might as well get the rover. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So she's got the two still in the discard pile. So that means she may come here later. Oh, yeah. So I gotta now do that. Yep, now the four, the two and the four are now in the discard pile. Stop keeping track. You're counting numbers. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm an accountant. What do you want? <laughs> so these come back. I, I draw up to three hunt cards from my hand. All right, and this moves forward by one. So you're getting up there. Mm. All right, so now you get to go again. You've got three willpower tokens. You can give one up to get a card back. But you mean not one, two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. I'm reading your poker face. <laughs> this is so difficult. Hmm. <laughs> she's smiling as she's putting the card on the table. <laughs> okay. So that means I get to play a card. Um, uh, huh. That's that's a thought. All right, let's do this one. All right, so. Does this happen? Okay, now my question is, does this happen immediately or after revealing? Um, so I'm just curious to see if this happens at the beginning of phase three or after. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't really say, but... All right, hunt cards, place cards. Sorry, folks, we're getting there. Small, small hiccup here. I'm trying to figure out if the card that I played is played immediately, but we'll wing it. Okay. What's that called? Like, this is a hunt card. That's a hunt card. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I'm going to choose to go, let's see, four and two, or, okay. Um, how about seven? I'll go there. So, there's that. So now, it, this says Cataclysm. The place's power of your choice is ineffective. I don't know if you reveal first, then I choose, or if I choose first, and then you reveal. I don't know how that works. What does that say? The player's... The, the place's power of your choice. So basically, I can choose a card and say it's not effective. That would be kind of unfair, though, if yeah. I if I revealed it and then you. I know, I agree. So I, but I don't know if it's meant to be that unfair. Like I don't know. I, I don't know how how unfair the game is supposed to be. Um, so I'll just I'll just say that I, to, to to keep things fair, I'll I'll make a judgment call and say cataclysm takes place before we reveal. There. So I'll choose I don't know. five. I'll just say that five. I'm going to make this ineffective. The rover. How did how did it work last time? The I, last round. We I didn't play this last round. No, I mean like like in the regular effect. Like, was there a similar effect to that? No. No. Okay. No, there wasn't. All right, never mind. That's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter where you put it in. Seven. <laughs> oh wow! I I guessed right. Okay. So in that case, um, unfortunately, she picked the seven. So she loses 
a will, which is the red cube. The place is ineffective, and I move the assimilation token up by one. <laughs> now, I don't think you get to play that discard action, either, or the take back a discard. I'm not sure. Um, the hunted may not take back a discarded place token. Okay, so that was kind of bad luck. But it's still, yeah, okay. you still move up one for the last part of that phase. Mm -hmm. And then I get to draw one card. Okay. Um, so now we're back at the exploration phase. Mm -hmm. You can give up a will token to get two cards back, or you can uh, just pass. Two, two tokens will get you four back, but... You'll also be out of tokens, meaning I'll move up again. Yeah. Um, oh, man. So. Or I can just take my 75%. No, my 20% two, chance. You've got 2, 5, and 2, two 4, 7. You can't look. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to look or not. 2, 4, 7, fine. 2, 4, I mean, I would have guessed eventually, right? Yeah. 2, 4, 7. So there's a 1, 3, 5. <laughs> One three five. Oh man. One three five. Okay, I've got a I've got a thirty three percent chance of guessing right. Yep. Oh man. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give up one will. Okay, you're gonna give up one will mm -hmm. to take back two 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 from the, okay. Yeah. Go Can for I it. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take back. Okay, so the beach is the only one that's not out. So now it's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one that she could go to. This one's When out. do I get back these things? At, the, at phase one, you can give up. Okay. Which you get everything back. Okay. Tokens. But that know, moves you up, right? That moves me up. So is that the only way? No, there's, I think there's another place that gives you will. I don't remember which one. Of, there was something that gave you will, but I don't remember where... Um, oh, so you actually need a card to get back will points. The, so the source, the hunted of your choice, you or another player regains one will, mm. or you draw one. So if you if you play the nine, you can get a will back. That's disgusting. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, so oh, maybe I'll man. play. That's so unfair. <laughs> like, no matter what, you're going to move up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll do that. Right. We got this. Okay, so you get to... You don't, have to, you don't have to shuffle them. Totally shuffle. You, you gotta pick one anyway. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right. um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh golly. Oh golly gee. Golly gee. Don't you know? Don't you know? Alright. Um. <laughs> Leave the cat alone. Silly dog. Don't give me that look. Okay. Oh, ow, ow, wait, I'm jumping on the floor. Hey, stay down. All right. Silly dog. All right, you picked a card? I did. Okay, so now phase two, this is for phase three. Um, so I'm gonna choose, this, this is kind of mean. I'm gonna go <laughs> here, even though you haven't, you have, oh wait, you did take back the jungle, but there's a reason why this might be mean, because I've increased the chances of you, I'll explain why here in a minute. All right, so this is phase two, I put this down. Here's the detour for phase three. After the hunted reveal their place cards, move one hunted to an adjacent place. So, if you reveal a one, three, or seven, I can move you on to two. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's, I give up. <laughs> Three. Three, okay. So, so two. I'm going to move you here. To two. You're going to okay. take a detour. So you, this place is now ineffective. And and you take a willpower. You take, I t right. So now you're done. I don't have any. <laughs> do you lose, okay, so I guess that means you, does that immediately, do you lose two or one? How does that work? If at least one of the hunted loses his third will counter, move the assimilation counter forward by one. So oh. you moved two. Yeah, so I move another Ooh. one. Wow, okay, so you're the almost Borg. Yeah, you're <laughs> almost a board. You're almost gonna be assimilated. That's now right. you get these back. Okay. I think. 
Oh. Yeah, you should. I mean, the, the, then these hunters take back all of their place cards as well as their three will counters. So you get everything back. It's the same as giving up at the beginning. So you get, oh, you get all of these you, back now. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. You're good. <laughs> and this moves up by one because of phase four. Okay. And this goes away. I get another card. <sighs> Those cards. Yeah, these are, these are these are kind of nasty. They're tough. Uh huh. I should have shuffled them. <laughs> oh, I saw. Oh, I said, what are you implying? <laughs> no. I see. I get it. To feed the board somehow. Oof. Look at that. See. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> Scream. Okay. You're gonna play that one. <laughs> okay. So you get to play a card face down. You don't have to. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, golly. Alright. Gosh darn it. I do, oh my gosh. This is this is a little difficult. But you move forward. As I, long as you can stave me off for you know, a couple more rounds. I feel like you have a card that just prevents everything from working. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it'd be a rather one-sided game if that were the case. <laughs> it seems Resistance is futile card, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so you played a card face down. Yeah. I get to choose... Alright, this is a scream. I'm gonna place one... Each hunted on the targeting space. Now it could be anything. So you, with that target card, you can move two? Yes, I can. The target and the creature? Yeah, I could do that yeah. and say... I'll give you a chance, the jungle. Because I know you're not going to go in the jungle. Oh no, come on! You gotta, you gotta really try to assimilate me. <laughs> oh, resistance is futile. Uh, so, what did you, what did you, go ahead and what, what would you have put it on? I would have put it on maybe I don't know the beach or the rover or I don't know. I wouldn't have picked the jungle because you don't. Well, have obviously. The, the card you have no cards in the discard pile. Mm -hmm. Um, I I don't know. I'll go in the. You could play the layer, you, and then copy whatever I land on mm -hmm. to psych me out. I'll, I'll go there. That's fine. Five. The rover. That's your favorite, I think. So now, no one land. I didn't land here. Mm -hmm. So you get to choose. Uh, you can either take a card back. We have none. Or you can take one of these. Okay. I get an extra will point, right? <laughs> no. Nah, no. Nah. The You're yellow. Gonna, the yellow. No, it doesn't count as five. No. <laughs> that's for this. Close okay. enough. Alright, um, so I get to pick six, eight, nine, or ten. Yep, okay. yep. Um, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna clean up for next round here, and you get to move forward one. I'm going to pick... Number eight. Number eight, okay. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Oh, yeah. discard. Yep, that goes this discard. This one, and this goes right. You got it. I already moved you up one, so you're you're good there. Okay. I don't like those A's. <laughs> you don't like those A's. They're common. All right. Huh. Yep, you get to play one face down. Oh, man. I'm starting <laughs> to dread my turn. <laughs> do you like it so far? I do, I like it. It's difficult. You try being the hunted. <laughs> I'm the creature. I'm the Borg. I want to be the Borg. There's no escape. <laughs> I will assimilate you. All right, you got it. So now I can... Uh, whoops. <laughs> this card is just... It's throwing phase four. It says next turn you may play two hunt cards. Oof. So I can ch I can play two of these next turn, um, but I will land. Um, well, the rover's already out. Um, how about I go to the river? Okay. All right, number two, the jungle. Take back to your hand this place card and one place card from your discard pile. Mm -hmm. So you get the rover back and the jungle back. Good job. Um, so this comes back here. Mm -hmm. Um, this moves up one for the end of round, and I can play two cards this time out. Alright, 
So, new round. My turn. Yep, yeah, you get to play one. I get to play two, and you get Ugh. to... Yeah, you pick one. <laughs> Alright. Um, wow. Okay, I want this one. So, so and... Play nothing. That's crazy. Okay. I'm so scared of your cards. <laughs> you really? don't even know. <laughs> that bad, huh? Um <laughs> this one. You're gonna you're gonna you're just adapting. Yes, you're we'll go adapting. with that. I'm adapting. Captain Nave adapted. <laughs> Copy the last hunt. Okay, that works. Okay, so let's see. So during phase two, I can target two adjacent places, apply the effects of the Artema token on both places. So... It's that thing again? Well, yeah, it, okay. I'll choose four and five, and then as the creature, I'll go to... I guess... <sighs> You've got seven and eight. I'm gonna go on eight. And this flashback is copy the last hunt card you discarded, which is going to be, this is this tracking. So next turn, I can play two more hunt cards. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't get another flashback, because that is a loop. <laughs> it is a loop. Terrible loop. Yes. Okay. So what did you pick? I picked three. Three. Okay, the river. Next turn, play two place cards. Before revealing, choose one and return the second to your hand. So that way, if I... Basically, you can take a look at where I went, and then you can pick one that I haven't gone to. Yeah. Which is On my good. next turn. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. But, end of turn, this goes up by one. <laughs> these come back, and these go away. I get to play two, though, for this turn. Okay. You're getting there. Look at you. Now, I get to play the A anytime I want to now. Yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. these come out. All right. Um, I'll play... That one, and this is difficult. see if I catch her with this, I imagine both would take effect. Yeah, just, this one will work. Okay, so these are both phase two. Okay, so you get to choose where to go, but you get to play two place cards. Yeah. And before I reveal them, so that means that I can reveal them after? Yeah, so you choose two to put face down, okay. and then I go, and then you reveal them, and then you pick one of the two. That's rough, okay. Well, it's good for you, because that, if I, if, you know, one of the places you chose, I'm, I'm there, you can choose the other one yeah. instead. Alright. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. So now my phase, uh, I have that A, I mean I have the A already, but the mutation, in addition to its effects, the Artemia token inflicts the loss of one will. So I can put this and hope to catch you somewhere. Um, you've already played the three, I'll play that on the five, and then I'll play this creature token on the eight maybe. So now you reveal both, but you can choose which one you want to be, you want to go to. Okay. I want to go to the seven. Seven. Okay, because you picked the five and the seven. Yeah. So that's good, that because my A and fierceness no longer, that doesn't matter now. Um, so you're going to discard both cards. Really? It says choose one and return the second to your hand. Oh, okay, you're good, you're good. Okay, so I guess... Oh, can, so, like, yeah, you can return the five to your hand. Yeah, my bad. So then the seven is draw two survival cards, choose one, and then discard the other. Mm -hmm. So you get to choose one to help you out. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, that's, this is so good. This comes back, and this goes up by one. Oh, I'm using this one. Okay. I'll discard that one. 
And for those of you that want to see, I mean, this isn't going to come in. Smoke screen. Uh, all the hunted hide their discarded place cards until the end of the turn. <laughs> so I could have done that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha What are you, Will Smith? Ha 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 ha. Sorry. That was a terrible impression. Ha 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 ha. Woody Woodpecker. Yeah, I guess. Yes, that's, 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 that's better, I think. <laughs> all right. So then I, I discard this, right? Uh, yes, you played the seven, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so I already moved you up one. Okay. So now I draw back up to three hunt cards. Man. <laughs> and you get to pick one. Um, when am I, when mm. do I get to use the survival cards if, if I choose to? Say what now? When do I get to use the survival cards? When's, what phase does it say... Uh, there should be a phase on your card. What is it? Really? Oh, phase three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can use that during phase three. All right, I'm going to choose that. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's OP. Okay. OP. OP. Original poster. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> We're power. All right. Um. Mm, Mm. And I'll zoom in for a little bit, change the camera angle. No, you're fine. I'm trying to give the guys at home something to, to look at different here. There you go. Mm. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. I know it's all right. It's hard, isn't it? This is very difficult. Okay. So you've got the five and the seven out right now, so I think it's the five. Okay. No, it's not the five. It's the three. Yeah, something like that, sure. Okay, so you played a card. Um, so this is phase two. Clone. Consider the target token as a second creature token. So I can put this, this, and this out. So, because I can put the A out because you're on the A now until the end of the game. So, one, two, three. So, so you reveal. Okay. I'm not going to play this. You're not? No. Okay, you're not going to play your card. Four. Wow, good job. The beach. Uh, place the marker counter on the beach. Or remove it to move the USQ counter up by one. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now that's on there. So the next time you go there, you can move it off and then move it up even further. Yep. These... Good job. You evaded the creature this Thank time. Thank you. I tried. It was so difficult. That was. So this moves up by one. You are about four spaces away from winning the game. Oh, man. And I get a new card. Very difficult. And on to the next round. All right, so we've got that. Oh, oh wow. All right. Now you have the option to lose a will token to get cards back if you want. No, she's shaking her head no. no. I'm going to place one place, one place card. Okay. One place card. All right. Phase two. Choose one hunted. If you catch him with the creature token, move the assimilation counter forward one extra space. So I have to try and guess correctly. Uh, you've already did the four, the seven. You can't go back to the four. Um, I will go to the jungle. And I am going, this is phase three, right? Yes, phase three. So I'm going to use the survival card. All right, you're going to use the survival card. And what does that say? Gate. Yes. Instead of using the power of your place card, copy the power of an adjacent space. Okay. So that means, what did you reveal? So now I can reveal it, right? But I want to apply an adjacent power. Can I do that? Mm. Oh, because I landed on you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if you... I landed on you, so I don't know. It says places... This place is ineffective, but copying a place from something else, that I don't know. You know, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I don't know. I, but what she did, what happened, folks, was she was also in the jungle, but she played this card. Instead of using the power of your place card, copy from an alternate place. Mm -hmm. So, like... Part of me is like, she doesn't get to do anything. Oh, because you landed Because I landed on you. However, it says this place that you're on is ineffective. 
It doesn't say that places adjacent to you are ineffective. So I'll give it. I'll give that to you. So are you sure? Yeah. What it say in the rule book? I don't. It might be, but again, I'm just winging it here. Um, each hunter who explores this place where the creature is lo located loses one. Okay, so you lose a will counter for sure. Okay. Um, immediately move the assimilation counter forward one space. Uh, the place's power may not be used, and the hunted may not take back. But see, that place's power may not be used. It doesn't say anything about adjacent worlds. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. So which one do you want to use? One, three, one. or seven? Okay. One is take back to your hand the place cards from the discard pile. Or copy the power of the place with the creature token. <laughs> so... But I can't do that. I know, no. So, you, so you're going to take back all your cards. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I discard this one? Yes, you would discard that one. This moves up sure. by one. Sure. Oh, no, you have to because it's... And this one you've used, so this yeah. is going to go away. All right. <laughs> that is hilarious. It is. It's weird. I'm, I'm, I'm finding things in this game. Well, actually, it says if you catch him with the cre move the assimilation counter one fort. Well, so, you did catch me, so. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. twice. So I move up twice because of this anticipation card. Yeah. All right. Darn it, card. <laughs> yeah, stupid card. So I'm two away. You're three away. It's close. All right, so these are my new cards. Um, now I have to pick one. Okay, let's do that one. All right, while we're waiting, you guys can read more of the cards if you want. Sorry. Admire. No, 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 no. Admire the artwork. That's what we're here for. It's very difficult. Go for it. It's, it's tense. We're nearing the end. Oh, my gosh. You're, you're too late. I'm too, very, oh my gosh. But you see, you move forward every space, so every turn. So there's a good chance. Do gonna, I? I keep forgetting that. At the end of every round, you move forward. Man, I'm not keeping track of it. If you weren't doing that, I still wouldn't have noticed. You would have been back here somewhere. <laughs> hey! Remember me! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd be far away from the creature, though. So. You'd be writing SOS like 6,000 times in the sand. No one would come to get you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah. You'd, be, you'd have like 13 Wilsons by now. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Just gosh. talking to the soccer ball. So true. All right, so you chose a card. Um... This is for phase four. Prevent the rescue counter moving forward during this phase. So, you know, normally this would move at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. It's not going to because oh. it's phases. <laughs> but now I get to choose a place. You've already got two out. So I'll go to, say, I'll prevent you from going to the beach. Ooh. But you might have done something else. Three, the river. Next turn, play two place cards. Before revealing, choose one and return the second to your hand. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay, so that goes in your discard pile. Mm -hmm. This comes back, this goes away. Now, you do not advance forward because nope. of the stasis. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we do this again, but you get to play two instead of one. Man. And then after you move, I reveal them. Yes. And I choose one. You can choose one. I like that. I like that card. Yeah. Okay. I want to play all of them. <laughs> <laughs> play all of them. Okay. Play all the things. Okay, so phase two. Force one hunted to discard all but two place cards from their hand. What? <laughs> I have to... You have to discard all but two from your hand. Is that including these? No. Mm -hmm. oh. But it, how oh, many so do you have? So I have to discard one. One, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, man. So you've got a two... Two and a three in the discard pile, plus whatever you just put in there now. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. So I gotta discard. Discard, face up. Mm hmm. So I can see it. What is it? <laughs> seven. I see it. No. Two, three, seven. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> it is fair! I'm the creature, I know all. I've got a hive mind. Mm. Two, three, seven. So now you reveal. Oh, I get to choose. Um, I'm gonna sever that collective. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the eight. Okay. And now you reveal. Can I choose one, right? Yeah, you choose one. Okay. This five and the eight. Well, obviously you don't want to go on the eight. Well, you may want to, but I'd be happy with it. So you're gonna go on the, <laughs> the five. So you're gonna go to the five, take from the reserve one card, or you can take. 
you could take back a card from a discard pile instead of taking the action of the card. Oh. You know how that no, normally yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I'll choose one here. Okay. And I, I get to take this back. My yes, hand, you right? get to take that one back. All right, and I will choose... Um, Which one is this one again? The Swamp. You can take back uh, two cards from the discard pile, including the Swamp. Uh -huh. Wow. So basically, it's like the jungle, only more powerful. Yeah. Oh, man. This is scary. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. Okay. I'm going to have a harder time catching you now. Yeah, that's my, that's my strategy. Uh-huh. <laughs> You just go all over the place, and I discard this. Right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you already moved me up one. I did. Mm -hmm. So. I will play. Oh, I forgot to play the A all this time. Oh, you did. That's alright. That's alright. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. You want to play it like three times this turn? No, I'm good. <laughs> no. Um. All right, so you get we're gonna to... have to do the video all over again. No, we're not. No, no. We're good. First game, mistakes are bound to happen. I just got to remind myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play that one. Right, I guess I will play... Oh, my goodness. Mm. This is difficult. It is difficult. It's so difficult. Give it some thought. You... I, I don't even want to look at the board. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which cards you played. You took back the eight. You have a six. You have a one. Unless you use a willpower to, unless you give up a will to take two cards back from your discard pile. I know. It's up to you though. But if you happen to lose your last will, then I move up. Oh my goodness. This is so, this is so nerve wracking. So it's a risk. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, you have to play the creature and the ace, so you have a 50-50 mm -hmm. chance of catching me. Assuming I remember where you went. I don't know if I'm allowed to look through your discard pile or not. I don't think I. I think I have to, I, I think I have to remember. Really? What you put? Yeah, but what you've been putting down. I know that you put the eight back in your hand. I know you have a six in your hand. I know you have the one in your hand. Possibly the two. I think you already played the beach and the rover. I mean, the rover's top. River, so you've got these three out. All right. So, Toxin is phase two. Each hunted on the targeted place discards one survival card. The power of the place is ineffective. So I'm going to put that there. The power of that place is ineffective. I'm going to put the A here, and I will put myself... Here. It's my turn. Yeah, now you get to reveal. Let's see what the one. Okay, so you get to uh, take back to your hand the place cards from the discard pile, or copy the power of the place with the creature token. No, I'll take them all. Back. Yeah, take them all back. <laughs> Good job. For the record, um, you said that this was in the discard pile. It wasn't. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> One more turn, you've got it. You've got, if you oh, survive one more turn. Look at you. I wish I had the nine and 10. <laughs> get myself scattered. But look at this, you have two more. I'm gonna get caught. No? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna play this one. Cover more ground. Well, I don't think it'll matter. Why? Why wouldn't it matter? Because you'll at the end at the last turn at the well, end of the turn you're gonna win anyway. So that that that's unless you prevent me from winning. Like yeah, I'd I'd have to somehow move my assimilation up two spaces, but I don't know if I can do that. If you catch me, can't you? No, I don't think I can win. Why? Because even if I catch if I land on you and move one and, and move up one, it's you still move up one at the end of the turn. I'm not I'd have to find a way to move this up two before the end of the turn. Unless you put me in stasis. Why well, didn't have stasis? Uh -huh. I thought if you caught me, I wasn't able to move. No. Well, no, I no, you wouldn't. Well, you'll see. No, no, you still move. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Because that's this is the rescue ship coming to get you. I see. It's not you on here. Okay. 
So I'll just, yeah, I'll just play that one. Yeah, I think she won this one. Math says so. The math. So this one is interference. The powers of the beach and the wreck are ineffective, which mm. is this and this. So I'm just going to play. I got to try and figure out. I mean, you might just try and psych me out and go there, or... Sure. So, now you reveal... Seven. Okay, draw two survival cards. Choose one and discard the other. I love these things. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Wait. Hold on. Okay, I like this one. This is one you didn't choose? Yeah. Avoid the effects of the Artemia token. That's awesome. What was the... What would the effects be, though? By itself, the place is ineffective and discard a place card. Oh. But there may be cards in the deck, my deck, that make, make it worse than that. Um, so at the end of that turn, you, you're up. You win. You escaped. Good job. I escaped back to Earth. <laughs> you are not a Borg. Resist that was very close. That though. was. That was very close. Good job. I got some implants. And <laughs> yeah, you got <laughs> some. Exa exactly. This is the one I picked. You're seven of nine at this point. <laughs> yeah. What's, is this the one you chose? Yeah. Sixth That's sense. Take back to your hand two place cards from your discard pile. Phase one. That's good. I don't like my cards in the discard pile. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's hard, yeah, because then I know where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. So, would you play this game again? Absolutely. I would absolutely. play it too. This is an awesome little game. I, I get with more players, though. Oh, let's cut their Because, <laughs> well, not only that, but from my understanding in the rule book, the survivors cannot, they can only communicate with each other verbally. Mm -hmm. They can't give each other's like a two or three, something hidden. It has to be verbally so the creature can hear them. Yeah. And... You have to tr try and coordinate somehow. And not only that, but there, there's a better chance for the creature to land on somebody with more players. Yeah. But that's why the creature would start, say, back here. That's as awesome. opposed, on, In a seven-player game, the creature starts all the way back here. Although that... I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm curious to see what more players would be like. Mm -hmm. So if Vinny were to play with us, would he be the creature or the survivor? <laughs> I want to assimilate him. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just, I just want to assimilate him. I, <laughs> I want to simulate somebody, darn it. If it's not going to be you, it's going to be him. That was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, next time you can be the creature. Sure. Yeah. Roar. Roar. <laughs> Resistance is returned. Exactly. That was Not Alone, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome little game. If you guys uh, want to see this game played again, let us know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel. Special thanks to Ida Lee for helping me out. Thanks, guys. Wave hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Vince and Idalee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.